Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Season four of Winner Home has been incredible so far. Uh, I think it's unbelievable to see what the design duos have been able to accomplish in the, the spaces that have been provided. I think the estate has been remarkable. You know, who knew that such a jewel could be in the middle of the south of Joburg? The obvious the eye of Africa is a beautiful estate and it's the location for the homes themselves. But estate living is such a trend in South Africa right now, something that's incredibly popular on the website as well. So it was good to cruise around with the Winner Home team and actually profile various estates and the various lifestyle opportunities, security features, uh, and reasons why people would choose to live in those estates. Now, there's a lot to like about the Eye of Africa estate that's hosting this year's competition. It's so much more than just a golf estate. You know, it's easy to look at the kind of drone footage and the overlays and you, you know, you're fixated on the golf course and the beautiful homes. But I think the lifestyle component is what's really going to draw people in. In fact, our units are not even a minute's walk from this beautiful old converted building that's now a deli and a restaurant, a beautiful deck wraparound. And you get the opportunity to kind of stroll there with your family and enjoy a social day out. And I think that's the type of lifestyle that's going to draw people in. Um, in fact, I think it was one of our property experts that was talking about the value of estates and, and why the value of property inside of estates can grow so much more than those suburbs outside. And it really has got to do with this exclusive community component. The fact that there's only a certain number of houses and once those are all sold, the value can only go up because people want to come in. And the things that draw people in are those unique lifestyle opportunities. Uh, the website, we see uh, tremendous excitement when the show airs, uh, you know, plenty calls to come and enter on the competition pages and you can understand, I mean, it's a phenomenal prize. This year, the, the fact that we've got design duos instead of just uh, solo acts has made a, a really exciting component to the show. I think it's added life and energy you know, when you first look at uh, Brad and, and a beer. Boom! You're going to get something different. You're going to get something energetic and unusual but uh, throughout the show, they've actually brought some interesting ideas to the mix, and I think overall, they're bringing their own brand uh, and their own polish uh, to the show. Welcome to the jungle! <laughs> Welcome! What I've enjoyed about Timpo and Le Sejo is the fact that they've injected this persona and this character into the designs that they do. Uh, we do that here at Private Property. If we're designing a user interface, we try and understand who we're designing it for. Uh, and so I think that's quite a cool idea. Uh, and then I've really enjoyed the combination of Tsepo and Benele. I think there's this artistic and technical element that you see in their team. I think uh, Tion even referred to it in one of the episodes. For me, the, the strength is their combination of Tsepo's technical background in interior design and Benele's artistic vision for rooms. That's their winning formula. So very, very good to see the various teams, how different they are uh, and how passionate they are about achieving the goal of winning this competition. Uh, and in fact, even the mentors are getting pulled into that team. You know, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy them as much uh, as part of the team as, as the designers themselves. They're young, they're creative and they think young. You've used one <laughs> chandelier, I think it's enough. <laughs> Yeah, the sponsors this year have been incredible. You know, we've got some of the best names in interior decor products available for the homes. They've been spending uh, their own budgets and the value of the products added and combined with that budget means that it's well over 600,000 rands worth of value being added to these homes. Uh, the judges this year, uh, I think it's a great mix of experience and insight, particularly in the interior design space and the interior design world. I mean, I had three seasons as a judge, so I know how you know, difficult it can be to walk into these beautiful rooms and then you, you're asked to uh, tear it to shreds. It's lovely to see Donald, our design winner from season one, being in the show. I think he's grown so much in the period of time. Uh, I'd like to think Winner Home was very much the birthing of that design talent. Uh, and he's adding a, a great level of insight to these new contestants on a weekly basis. Uh, Kleklecho, coming from the Plascon side, from the colour and trend side, I think is doing an amazing job. That mirror, recipe for babies. <laughs> and it's quite a nice mix-up uh, to have 
a new, fresh face every week uh, as a guest judge because I think that keeps the contestants on their toes. They never really know what to expect. Uh, I know certainly in previous seasons we'd have a little bit of a same-same with the judges each week and contestants would start to adjust their patterns to what they thought we would like. Whereas I think now you've got this uh, freshness that keeps them exploring the limits, which is good. And there's so much still to happen in this competition, particularly the living room and the open plan kitchen, how those two hang together. I mean, that's always pivotal in any home. Uh, we see it on the property marketing side, how important it is that your living space, your entertainment space uh, becomes the heart of the home. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they move through those challenges. Uh, I think there's still a lot more drama to come. I think uh, we certainly haven't seen the last tears and laughter and nails bitten in this competition, so it's going to be very interesting to see how, how we see the run-in. And we can't forget that at the end of this, there's going to be a viewer, uh, just you know, somebody that's presumably on the couch watching the show right now, uh, that's entered this competition, that's going to be the lucky winner of one of these homes. And they're going to get to walk into one of the three, choose it as their own. Uh, and I think that's always, for me, the most exciting part of the show is, is the big handover. So that's what's at stake here. It's a massive prize. I mean, Danilo stands up every week and says it's the biggest prize on TV, and it certainly is. Uh, so it's going to be great giving that away again. Um, certainly not something that I ever get blasé about, that we can be a part of something so big. And for a business like Private Property, which is all about marketing beautiful homes, it makes sense to be partnering with a show that gives one away. So uh, we're very excited for that part of the show. Private Property, a home for everyone.